Briefing by INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu is centered on the March 11 governorship and state's House of Assembly elections. The chairman says the commission has intensified the review of the technology to ensure that glitches experienced in the last presidential election, particularly with the upload of results, are rectified. The commission is confident that all technology required for the election will not only be deployed but will work optimally in the gubernatorial election. On election day technology, the bimodal voter accreditation system, the BIVAS, will once again be deployed for voter accreditation and result management as we approach the concluding phase of the general election involving the largest number of constituencies, 28 state governorship elections and 993 state houses of assembly seats. He explains that resident electoral commissioners will be held accountable for poor arrangement or failure to deploy electronic power generators to collation centers or polling units where such facilities needed. Professor Yakubu notes that infractions of all kinds from last week election will be addressed. Resident electoral commissioners will be held responsible for any tidy arrangement for the failure to deploy electric power generators to collection centers or polling units where such facilities are needed. The Commission has enough facilities in all the states of the Federation. Failure to deploy them is simply inexcusable. The Commission says action taken on Saturday's election was without prejudice to the right of parties and candidates to seek further remedy as provided by the law. Juliet Dengiwa, ITV News.